time to play Portal 2. So, last time we were falling. Hi, Tom! Right, so last time we had got to GLaDOS and thought we were going to escape with the help of Wheatley, uh, but everything went wrong and GLaDOS is now a potato and we fell down a very long thing and we are under many many layers of stuff so i guess we better find that glad tato now and also remember the controls i don't remember which one is okay that one is blue that one is orange good to know how is my volume i'm sorry that i was not here um last week i was not feeling very well and I had a huge migraine yesterday too, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to... Sounds good, awesome. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stream today, but luckily I woke up without a migraine, which is always nice. So we can have a nice play. As you will be able to see if you scroll down, I have added some commands for you guys to play with. So you can keep track of when I do silly things like die. Or um, when we get to the new Tomb Raider games, you can keep track of how many mummy issues and how many daddy issues she has. Because she mentions them a lot. Which is very different from classic Lara, who never mentioned her parents once. <laughs> um, so that will be fun to play with. Um, and of course, there is all the sound effects to play with still. And I added GIFs, which I'm not sure Tom got to see. Ah, there we go. Oh, we're gonna make our way up here. Look at the wreckage, Chibi. You wanna look at the wreckage? She's very mad at me. Um, she needed a brush, so I was trying to brush her before we started. Come here, baby, so they can see you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. She put a button in my phone. Don't fart on my phone, Chibi. Say hi. Say hi. Girl, you stay there. I uh, will play around you. So just keep being cute, okay? Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, she's mad at me because she needed a brush and she's got a she had a big knot under her armpit. So she keeps running away every time I try to brush her. And so she was snooty, weren't you? You were snooty and was like, no, don't touch me there. Um, I can't remember where to go from here. I'm sorry, am I not petting you enough? So this is the problem when there's only me. She gets fussy when no one is petting her constantly. Don't you, miss? Um, can you remember where to... Oh, is that it over there? Not worth... Oh, there's a zoom! Forgotten there was a zoom. Chibi, why didn't you remind me there was a zoom? Does Shell, like, have telescopic vision or something? Keep out. That makes me want to go in. Um, I always forget this, where to go on this bit. Every time. No matter how many times I play this, it always just leaves my mind. Oh, are you off again? Okay. Oh, no, don't jump off the bed. Hey, what if people want to feed you treats? <gasps> what a butt. Yes, that reminds me, you can earn points. And one of the points you can buy things with is... No. One of the things you can buy with points is to feed Chibi treats. Because then she will love you forever. Okay, seriously, I can't remember where to go. Can someone remind me? Please. Please, please. Ah, uh -huh. I'm stuck. There we go. No, ow, slidey. Uh, without being able to look around myself, I can't remember. Fair enough. So, Tom, you can let us know what game do you, are you thinking of for your turn, because that is where we left off, and you should be done with quarantine on Friday, which means we should be able to start your choice of game next Monday. 
No idea. Well, you better start thinking then. How about you do some spitballing? Condemned testing area. I think we should definitely go in here. Seems like a very safe idea. Oh, all the doors are locked. Whatever will we do? Apparently the answer to whatever shall we do is get stuck again. Aha! Gotcha. Does anyone have any suggestions for what they would like Tom and I to play? Yo, there we go. Warning! Cosmic ray spallation elements. I don't know what that is, but apparently there are unsafe levels of it. I'm sure that will cause us no harm whatsoever. It'll all be fine. Completely, I went the wrong way. Completely fine. If anyone does choose to interact with Chibi, I will just have to pick her up off the floor. We do not enter. Keep out. Another keep out. They really don't want us to go down here, do they? Well, I elect to ignore those signs. Is there a button to run? No, that is crouch. Nope. Oh well. No running for us. Pull the lever. Oh, that was sparky. Ooh, ooh, that's a big vault. I didn't realise we were playing Fallout. Okay, we've got one and we've got two. Wonder what we'll have to do here. This definitely couldn't possibly be something timed. That's just ridiculous. Are you all there? Uh. Hatch reclusion override. There we go. Oh, 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 here we go. We've really done it now. Oh, yes, I loved the time events. Love, love them. Time events, absolute favourite. They're definitely not something I dread and cry about. Totally my favourite. This looks very safe. I'm sure we'll have a jolly old time down here. <laughs> I love that it's just an itty bitty door. That makes me very pleased. <laughs> I wonder if they made someone sit here, just guarding it between that big vault door and this little door here. It seems like the sort of thing they do. I wonder how long those fires have been burning. How have they had fuel for this long? Hmm. Caution, do not lean on railing. Danger. Presumably that means I'm going to be melted if I go in the water. Which is, I guess, not water and is acid, maybe? Uh, that's the case with this one door on Bloodborne. They make a guy just sit there and guard it forever, even though it's behind a big vault door. That seems needlessly cruel. You're not going to make me play Bloodborne, are you? Because I don't want to play Bloodborne. Uh-oh. Many folly things. I wonder what these domes contained. They kind of remind me of Epcot's big ball. Uh, there is the guy on the other side of the door talking to you when you finally open it, it's a skeleton on a chair. Okay, that begs the question. Uh, was the skeleton talking to you because it was some form of zombie skeleton? Or was its ghost talking to you because it yeah, presumably had a ghost? Or are you completely... Oh no, I fell in the water because I was talking to you. Shoot. Well, I died. Oh, I love it when the logo goes old school. That makes me happy. Um, or were you insane and talking to yourself? 
I'm going to guess from the amount of trauma that game induces that you were insane in talking to yourself. Now let's try that again, and this time without falling in the not water. Oh. Can we get back there? We can. Uh -huh. Is it going to work? Oh, it is. Okay. Good. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love hearing the J. Jonah Jameson voice. He is wonderful with the casting. Perfect. I love how this bit starts off. They're all like, yes, we need the absolute best. We're going to get astronauts and Olympians and it's wonderful. And then that all goes downhill very swiftly. Science, exactly. Okay, how am I going to get there? Guess we'll have to do some thinking. Start thinking with portals. Whoops! I thought with portals too much. Damn it, I missed again. Can I get that to be a bit slower? I can, and let's just walk in from the wall, maybe. That was much better. So you're saying you're definitely, your character's definitely insane. In Bloodborne, I mean, not in this. She could be in this. She's been through a lot. She probably needs some counselling after this, to be honest. Ah, I slipped. Let's try that again. This is going to sound kind of weird, but the Cave Johnson character in this, um, very much reminds me of Walt Disney and um, if you've seen um, Agent Carter of uh, Howard Stark um, the young Howard Stark from that not the old Howard Stark from the other things um, does this help me? I might be able to make the jump uh, no How do I get up here and why can't I remember any of this? Well, let's see if I can like launch myself. That always ends well. Try a bit of speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. You there and you yeah. Uh, oh, yay, I made it. thought I was going to overshoot it then. Oh, let's say, welcome to the future of tomorrow. Aperture Science Innovent Innovators. Est 1947. So, yeah, it really reminds me of, like, Epcot and the whole Walt Disney thing there, because originally he wanted Epcot to be, like, a town of tomorrow, and people would actually live there, and it would be like the, the newest technologies for housing and stuff. You know how like in the in the sixties especially they had that whole um future futuristic vibe thing going on? It was very much to do with that type of thing. How do we get over there? Oh This thing? Is it this thing? I think it's this thing. I think I have to go through that. I think I've remembered. My brain might not entirely be gone. Let's get back up there so we can launch ourselves properly. 
Okay. So, yeah, Walt Disney originally wanted Epcot to be a model town that people would live in, experiencing all the latest science and stuff. Um, and it would, like, um, improve, they like, er re-improve everything every so often as science improved. I love that, I love that so much. Welcome test subjects. Please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Um, but yeah, Walt Disney died before they could implement any of those ideas. See, look, that is a classic Walt Disney picture and pose right there for Cave Johnson. I love it. Um, it's a potato! Spirit of Idaho. Spirit of Idaho National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science, 1955. Best new science company, Aperture Science, 47. Shower curtain? Shower curtain salesman of 43, Aperture Fixtures. Local entrepreneur by salt mine, Cave Johnson to bring science industry to Upper Michigan. Huh, Tom, Upper Michigan. I didn't realize that. The future is here and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. Oh, we've got another one of those. Let's delete that. There we go. Shame we can't read the article. I wonder what it would say. Top 100 applied science companies of 49, number 2. US Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up, 52. And runner-up in 54. Uh, 54 as well. What a lot of awards they have. But yes, um, Walt Disney sadly died before they could implement his ideas for Epcot. And so it was kind of put on the back burner and then it ended up, they ended up retooling the, the science-y idea portion to become the, the Futures World part, um, which is the first bit that's all sciencey based that you go into at the beginning. It used to be more sciencey based but it's become more ridey based and stuff now. Um, and then they have the world showcase at the back. So quite different from what was intended but I like Epcot, it's fun. And they originally planned for many many more worlds like as in um, countries for the world showcase part. Um, and there are even some like you can see on like the original brochures and stuff that say coming soon and they never came because of various reasons but it's all very interesting if you wanted to ever look into it there's plenty of videos about it on youtube vitrified i don't think i want to go in there okay can oh there's the drop right there okay Nope, I need to be back over there first, don't I? Experiment discontinued. For perfectly normal reasons, I'm sure. Okay, right, how do I get... Oh, itchy face. How do I get to that spot? Where was it? Oh, it was the bottom of the lift shaft, wasn't it? It's going to be what it is. Yeah, I think I can see it. I just cannot get an angle. Ah, there we go. Whee! Woo! Just made it. Okay. Now I think we get to play with the blue stuff. 
Yes, we do. We get to play with the blue stuff. Know your allergens. Pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. Anyone allergic to antimatter in the chat? Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. Generally, some good at life advice there. Ooh, up or down? Let's go up. Locked door. Mm, pardon me. I'm guessing another locked door. Yeah, at least this one's not painted on this time. Ooh, I think we can get through up there. Yup, gel flow. Safety first. Oh, I'm not going to be able to jump up there. See, so what does our safety first say? Together we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualties anim ever. Oh, there they say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Mm. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. <laughs> That's good to know. No hand holding, indeed. Oh, up we go. Oh, okay. It's very dark here. I hope they turn on the lights. Oh, there we go. Blinded. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. <laughs> you get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. Oh. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Ouch. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Remember, the test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portal Quantum Tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Good job we have one. Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a diet... <laughs> Did you know Repulsion Gel was Aperture Science's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute? It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of the dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, the product was pulled from shelves. I can't think why. Whee! So fun. I love the bouncy. Aha! There it is. Okay, how do we make it release a cube? Aha! There is a cube release button. Whee! And of course it goes that way. Let's grab you. Whee! Oh, so bouncy. I love the bouncy. Whoops. There you go. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control <laughs> group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Because who cares about proper scientific procedure, eh? Ooh, what do we have here then? Oh, a little office. I wish there was like memos or something you could find in the little offices. Oh, okay. For the next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. That's not okay, guys. You can't just give people tumors. Okay, right. So we've got a block up there. we got patches up there. And the door is up. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, Crowdly? Oops, oh, oh, I nearly fell in there. There we go. Whoa, don't fall. There we go. Got you. What have you been up to? Something fun, I hope. Oh, I think I saw that you finished with Nevada in Tomb Raider 3, and you were trying to choose where to go to next. Where is my exit? Oh, up there, okay. Alright. Whee! I love how bouncy this stuff is, it makes me very happy. Woo! I wish I could have some in real life. Okay, what did that do? Ah, oh, I see. Gotcha. Cool, okay. Oh, I think I remember. You have to, like, bounce. The walls? It is, okay. Oh, I'm guessing don't fall. Yep, don't fall down there, Jay. Uh. Woo! Gotcha. Uh, all well here. Hope everyone's well. After Grim, Ola, and I. Off to the South Pacific Islands. Nice. Hope you're feeling better after last week. Yes, thank you. Um, And at the weekend, I had a, a horrible migraine, but luckily that has gone too, which I am very pleased about. And the South Pacific, lovely. I can't wait to see your updates about that. Um, right. Whee! I hope you have plenty of medipacks ready. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion Oops, gel, sorry. some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in <laughs> repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. I'm sure that will end fine. Um, so yes, I hope you have plenty of many packs prepared for your trip to the South Pacific. Uh, because it's rather poison heavy. Whoops a daisy indeed. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Oh these lovely. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> the good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I don't think I want his calculator. His, his is a cruel calculator. Uh, yeah, um, I'd advise trying not to get poisoned then. Because you're not going to have a fun time if you get poisoned. Yes, everything is asbestos. The, um, the base that uh, we lived at in England had, um, the dorms were all made of asbestos. And so they couldn't, like, do any work on them or anything because, like, it was sealed asbestos but like if they tried to do some work on it it would have like all been exposed and you know everyone would have got asbestos -y. not a great thing where is that oh there is a thing um how does that help me nope well let's see what this gets us then and have a oops I put that one really high okay um aha there is one up there I can see now gotcha okay let's head up this thing 
So yeah, my advice for the South Pacific is attempt to not get poisoned as much as possible. It's generally not good for one's health. But on the plus side, there is plenty of opportunities to get poisoned if that is your thing. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like Thank me. you, Cave. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Okay, as a person in a wheelchair, rude. Ooh, okay, we got blue stuff. I'm guessing this activates the blue stuff. It does activate the blue stuff. Yay, okay. Right. Uh, well, let's get this place blue. Um, blue, da ba dee da ba die. Yes, we're going to paint the town blue. Um, hopefully that should be good. Ah, oh, I blew myself. Whee! Can we? Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, that. Aha, let's get some down here. Can you land? Yes. Okay, good. And good. Okay. Ooh. Oh! Oh no, I hit the thing. Darn it. Oh, I blew myself again. Let's try that one more time. Whee! Whee! Okay, got you there. Oh, let's get you there. Excellent. Okay. Right. Hopefully that is enough that we will um, be able to make this. A very bouncy bean indeed. Okay, blue. Whee! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Woohoo! I didn't die. Slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. I don't think that the, they should be allowed to practice science, quite frankly. I think we're looking at several lawsuits just off this first phase. And we're not even out of the 50s yet. Okay. Ooh. More blue gel. Okay. Right. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your cell. <laughs> Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I agree. Science, science is not exactly there. Should we say forte? Oh, I moved the wrong one. Okay. Uh, there. okay, hopefully if I go through there. Hey, space birds, welcome! Don't worry about being late, it's fine. <laughs> it's just not an exact science. Oh, you're playing Animal Crossing, were you having fun? Um... I would I would go so far as to say that um, attempting to put a postcard sized microchip in someone's brain is not a good idea whether it's an exact science or not. Um, what do I do here? Okay, I want to get over there, but if I put one there I'll just bonk my head. And I don't really feel like bonking my head, to be honest. I need to get rid of this water. Aha! There is a button there I did not spot before. Excellent. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, yes. 
Yes, I am the science police. You have caught me. That is my secret identity. I... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, God. What? I am secretly the science police. And I have not told you this for a long time because I was afraid you would no longer love me. You found out the truth. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. If a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. Oh yes, that always goes very well indeed. Coat that with blue. Oh. Mm. I want to get there. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, right into the acid. There goes my lovely face. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Okay. Oh, right. okay, right. This test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, we're get you advice. nice and you blue on the testing track. Don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay, right. Pop you there and let's go into this hole. Whee! Excellent. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, you missed one a while back um, when I fell into the acid the first time because I was talking to you. So you should probably do that one again. Um, if you can, I'm not sure it might like stop you from repeating it straight away. Oh, that was where we were just where. Okay, let's go up here. Yes, I have added some commands. So now you have commands to play with as well as the music and the gifts. Accidents hurt you. You will be hurt. Co-workers, don't endanger others. The company. Replacements are costly. Science. Investigations impede progress. Because that's what we need to be worried about. Just investigations. That's all we should worry about ever. Then why did you use it? <laughs> I also do not know how to reset those, just so you know. Okay, um, I'm guessing we need some bouncy bouncy gel over here can we get bouncy bouncy gel so it looks like we can and we want blue can't actually remember where to put blue in this area but I'm sure we'll work it out Hopefully that should go over here. So what have you all been up to? Okay, that's probably going to be fine. Let's try that. Oh, awesome. I didn't need as much as I thought I did. Okay. Oops. Don't want to walk off there. Ooh, all there. Okay. Okay. Aha! Whee! This, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I think that's valid. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like rejection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring it's just back water, right? It's yeah, it's water. Squirrel, son. I like your grit. <laughs> He's so inspiring, wouldn't you say? He almost makes me want to write a newspaper with slanderous things about superheroes in it. Ooh, okay. Whoa! Broken glass. That can't be good. 
Really hope Shell's not got bare feet. Oh no. Well, let's wash this thing in that water. Where did it go? No, I've lost it. Oh, you're so bouncy. Ah! Everything is going badly. Okay. Let's try that again. Good. Okay. Nice and clean this time. Wonderful. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get some. Ah, I've still got the blue there, and that is a. Okay, orange. We need orange. Excellent. And get you nice and blue. And I missed. I'm so good at that. Aiming is definitely my forte. Can you tell? What is it? What is that quote? They're so busy asking themselves if they could, they didn't stop to ask if they should. I think that definitely applies here with Cave. For quite a while, I don't know if it's still on there. For quite a while on the, um, oh, what's that website called? Congratulations. Um, the simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. <laughs> Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. <laughs> she is a gem. I love that joke. Um, pardon me, what was I saying? Think Geek? Was that the website? I think that was the website. They had a portrait of Cave Johnson that you could buy, and if you pressed a button on it, it would do the lemon rant. And I really wanted to get that to hang in our future home because I thought it would just be hilarious to have like this picture of him and you just press a button and it does the lemon rant. Elevator to surface. Unfortunately, it is very blocked off. Also, I can't remember which like um which year section the the secret boat is on. Ah, I did the same portal. And I apologize if I miss it. Ah, yes, think geek. I was right. Okay, cool. Thank you, honey. All right, well, let's head to 71 for the beta test. Or if you're American, the beta test. Ooh, we're going to get some orange gel now. Is there a button to turn on this pump station? I'm sure there must be. It must be up there somewhere. Oop. Aha, uh -huh, up there. Can we? No, we cannot. Okay. Darn. I can't aim that over here. <laughs> Your net broke? Your net to catch bugs on Animal Crossing? Or your net as in the internet? Because um, I'm, I'm terribly sorry whichever way it is. And I hope you can get a new one. Ooh, yay, I picked the right one. I always think I'm going to pick the wrong one because I usually do. Yay, pump stations. I was right, you're not an Animal Crossing. Okay, I'm very sorry. I hope you can fix it or get a new one. Oh, I can't pick up the note. I want the note. Look at those amazing 70s computers. Oh, the memory is on tape. We are so fortunate. Okay. Oh, we're going to get ourselves a glad tato. She is in that control room, if my memory is correct. 
Which, you know, it might not be because my memory is bad. As we have established by me wandering in here and going, where am I? Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. <laughs> and you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. <laughs> Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? <laughs> right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? <laughs> You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Wow, so some pretty bad stuff happened between... 1950s and 1970. 426, that is a lot. I'm fairly certain that you could not buy a giant yacht like that for $60, even in the 70s. Like, I'm really very sure. Oh, wow, they're only at tested number 23, and that is 426. That's to be them. Remember, alert your super uh, super <laughs> alert your supervisor if you see an OSHA inspector, Department of Energy inspector, GAO accountant, undercover police officer, nuclear regulatory commissioner, FEMA coordinator. Ordinary police officer, journalist, public works inspector, MSHA mine inspector, ATF, FBI, or US Marshal. Wow. So, yeah, they fell a long way between 56 and 71. I guess Black Mesa really did a number on them. Um... Oh gosh, I was thinking something and now it's completely gone. Darn it, what was I thinking? I hate when that happens. Oh, whoops. Oh, I was thinking if this salt mine is in Upper Michigan, does that mean, like, when she uh, arrives to the surface at the end of the game, she is somewhere in the UP? We must look for landmarks we recognise, Tom. Okay, alright. You all there, and let's jump in the hole. Whee! Lovely. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. <laughs> I guess that's what I better do. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Can I trust her? This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy. <laughs> Guess we'll have to trust her. <laughs> At least she warned us she was going to scheme. I do appreciate a warning.
the lift? Oh, the lift is up there now. Okay, wait, well, we better get up there then. I appreciate the warning that she's she, she's warned us that she's going to do some scheming. I, I, I really appreciate that. Wait, how do I get up there? Why is my memory just disappeared? Let's try this. There we go, that worked. It is very thoughtful of her. You know, I've never made a potato or a lemon battery. And until this game, I did not realise you could make a potato battery. I, I know you could make a lemon battery, but I didn't know you could make one with a potato. Have any of you ever made either of those? The reunion. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. <laughs> are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I think she might be having a little existential crisis. Well, it happens to the best of us. Whee! And where is the droppy? Ah, there is the droppy. Okay. That is the right one. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's say thank you for keeping our enrichment spheres clean. Okay, and now we have the speedy speedy. Let's do some speedy speedy. Whee! Oh, I love riding, uh, running fast like that. It is fun. Wait, how do I make more jelly? Oh, I have to press the button each time? Darn. Okay. Oh well. Right. No, yeah, I definitely need it. Okay, good. Good to know. Oh, you didn't know about the lemon one? Yes, uh, that one's the one I'd always known about. Um, okay. Uh, okay, what one is over there? Okay, orange. Orange, okay. Um, and I have seen on QI that uh, if you use... Okay, what one do I need? Orange, okay. Uh, you can make a... Um, uh, a gherkin, a pickle, light up if you um, electrocute it. It uh, it glows, which is is rather funny to see. But I've never done that experiment myself. Like I said, I saw it on QI. Whee! Excellent. Okay. Oh, and there's my cube. Okay. You there? You there? Oh, I did the wrong one. Without fail, I always do the wrong one. Okay, let's very carefully not accidentally run off the edge. Can you hear turrets singing again? Because I feel like I can hear turrets singing again. Just faintly in the background. Excellent. Okay. Right, let's go for it. Ah! Yay! Do not leave your belongings here. Do not loiter for more than 20 minutes. Do not touch the glass. Do wear a shirt and shoes at all time. Do move quickly through the test track. Do not forget to not touch the glass. Oh yes, vitally important that we do not not touch the glass. Oh, okay, that is gonna suck. Okay. Guess we've got to go down here then, because I ah, don't fall in the water. Ooh, that made my ankles feel funny. That's not going to help. Hmm. I need one where I can fall. It's one that I can fall from. I want to go in there and see what's in there. Nothing really I can fall from over there. 
Mm. Nothing I can pull from over there. Uh, or over here. Oh. Huh. If you guys spot anything that I am missing, please feel free to inform me. Wait, if I... What if I run backwards into that? Oh, I did the wrong one again. Why do I always do that? Hey, that's the ticket. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. <laughs> Very calmly. Yeah. Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Guess we better find a red button to hit because we are wearing an orange jumpsuit. I wonder why. Now we know what Carolyn looks like. Okay. Oh, and she is still not wearing a wedding ring, so I guess she's not technically married to science. Wonder what was caught on then. There's no red button, you guys. I guess we cannot fulfill that sign. That was the wrong way. There we go. Okay, what do we have in here then? Okay, so we have oh, ah, we have both kinds of jelly: the bouncy and the speedy. Mm, pardon me. Well, let's get some speedy along here and then end it with a bouncy. Okay, that looks good to me. And let's get some bouncy. This stuff would be so much fun in real life. And presumably we're going to need to do something with that, but I guess we will find out when we get over there. Okay, wish me luck. Ouch. I think I broke my nose. Okay, so there's a way up there and that over there. And I don't see a way up there. Oh, that is a great. That's great. I like my dumb jokes. Okay, that is blue, so we need an orange. Okay, and off we go! Whee! Oh, darn it, I hit the side. Oh, that's not gonna work, Jay. Duh. Try that again. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, that doesn't work at all. Can I, like, shoot that up there? Or maybe I can. Oh, I can get it. Okay, wonderful. Good to know. Wait, we'll put orange. Okay. We can go over there. Okay, so we got orange, that means we need a blue. <sighs> Why? Why do you keep hitting the side? Ooh, 
that's not gonna end well. Oh god, oh god, there we go, okay. Right. Okay, totally do this. Hey! We did it! Woo! I will bear that in mind. So remember everyone, do not use elevators as bathrooms. We have been given this all-important missive by Cave Johnson himself. Oh, that reminds me of... I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. Oh yay, the logo changed. <laughs> um, did anyone see that <laughs> The Rock apparently has superpowers? Um, he couldn't get to work this morning because there was a power outage and his if you're in an I'll tell you afterwards. Dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. I don't think that's a good idea, quite frankly. I've seen way too many movies about that sort of thing. Um so yeah, The Rock could not get to work uh, because there was a power outage and his electric gate would not open. Uh, so he literally ripped it off of the, out of the wall and threw it on the ground, completely, completely ripped off of everything that it was attached to. And then he clearly has super strength. I don't know what to say. Just, yeah, he, he clearly has super strength. There's no other explanation for it. Right. Oh, let's get you there. You there. Let's see what this gets us. And I saw a picture of the um the results, and yeah, it's completely ripped off, thrown on the ground, totally broken. And a little bit scary that anyone could be that strong and, you know, not have been through a super soldier program. Oh good, we can just drop down here. Oh no! Oh! Oh, that's mean! It went through the thing! Oh, that's so mean. Try that again. This time, hopefully, it won't randomly go through the wall and fall into the acid. Whee! There we go. Oh! Really? Really? What the heck, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, crazy, right? I can't imagine being that strong, can you? Don't go, there we go, that's better. Tricks cube. Ooh, okay. Now we have a platform. Okay, I have a feeling we wanted to coat that platform before we put the block on it. Or rather, before we turned it over. The question is, what do we want to coat it in? I would guess the blue stuff. Can I get that from here? That might have worked, I'm not sure. No, it did not. Okay. That wrong place. There we go, right. Get you. Get you. Okay. That looks nice and coated now. Okay. There we go. 
Excellent. I think that's good. Okay. And now what? How do I get... Ah! There's this up here. I did not see this before. Okay. Ooh, we're definitely going to want some orange on there. Can I have some orange? Thank you. And I would imagine we want quite the run up, so let's get you. There we go. And you there. Okay, let's try this thing. Whee! Boing! In case you're there's still some positions available for that Ooh. bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So that's Thank a complete sure. reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones. Plus, we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. I don't think that I would personally trust them. Uh, who who would volunteer for that from the chat? Any of you? Let's get a sound off. Yay or nay? It's a big nay from me. But you might have totally different reasoning and want to be disassembled and reassembled by the crazy scientist man. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion <laughs> gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the yeah. building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we've got a no from Crowdly and a no from Tom. Wise, I would say. Okay, so it's been seven years now. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Elevator to surface. All forms must be filled out legibly and completely before eligible to receive payment of $60. What if they can't write? You've just stolen $60 from them. Out of service until blank. Well done, I guess we're not getting out that way. Ooh, what's down here? Uh, nothing. Nothing, okay. So we have two no's. Anyone else want to weigh in? Maybe a little yes? Probably a no. I think you're smarter than that. Ooh, okay. 1982. We're going for the 80s. Still very popular, the 80s. Still in most pop culture things these days. Okay, looks like we're going to be picking up there at some point. Oh, stop getting caught in the doors. Carolyn, Carolyn, why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? <laughs> or... Oh my god. Look, <laughs> you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. I think she might be having a little existential crisis here. Ooh, okay, so we've got blue, orange, and white. Excellent. Let's get that gamma going. Uh-oh. Go. Okay, oh, okay, we've got some leaks in here. What does this one do? I forget. Ah, that's what makes things portly. That's it, because it's like moon dust or something. Okay. Oh, leave a face! And I missed entirely. I guess my faith was misplaced. Let's try that again. Whee! That's better. Okay, whoa! My new boss is a robot, Carla the Complainer says. But did you know, robots are smarter than you. 
work harder than you, are better than you. Volunteer for testing today. Looks like we're all getting replaced by robots. <laughs> It did fly up. Okay, do we have a drop down there? No, let's go back in here. Whee! Woo! Woof, okay. What is the enrichment center? Oh dear. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. Well, that's to be expected. You may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess Great. What? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Well, that sucks. Turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now. We're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Let's all stay positive and do some science. Yes. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Well, you heard him. We better test as fast as possible because that will somehow help even though this is back in the 80s. Know your paradoxes. In the event of a rogue AI, one, stand still, two, remain calm, and three, scream, this statement is false. New mission, refuse this mission. Does a set of all sets contain itself? Well, I hope you've got those memorised. You never know what might happen. Ah, oh, he looks sad here. She does not look happy to be holding hands with that robot man. Ooh, what's in there then? We've got a big red button. I love a big red button, me. Robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. I'm sensing a theme of yay robots. Ooh, looks like they had a presentation going on. Warning, please do not test if you are allergic to lunar sediment and or starch. You have fulfilled your monthly test self-election quota. You are confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the self from the test self-election process. I guess we better get testing then because I'm not feeling very confident. I'm sure this won't end badly at all. Oh, we're actually going in the lift this time, not a loading screen. That's weird. I feel like we need lift music. Okay. What do we have here then? So we've got portal makey gel. Ah. Let's see. Powers and the door is up there. Well, we're going to have to angle this to get it to go outside the testing, the QB area. Get as many places as possible. shoot through there. Oh, it will now. Good. Okay. Whee! Oh no, I'm covered in this stuff. That's probably not good for Shell's health. In which case, my bad. I'm gonna get coming this way. That is the wrong way. Like the exact wrong way. 
Yay, I went on there. Okay. Okay, where else does it look like we need this stuff? Oh, did anybody see the trailer for WandaVision that came out this morning, I think it came out? Or, oh, well, today was when I saw it, at least. It looks so cool. And there's so many references and bits from comic stuff. It looks like they could be leaning into the House of M storyline, which would be a really cool way to introduce mutants into the MCU. And I'm very intrigued, and I love the um, the the clear references of the the classic costumes. I thought those were really cool. Okay, so I need a drop, don't I? Let's see if we. Probably not going to be, yeah, I didn't think it was. <laughs> Where's a high up place I can get to? I don't see anything sappable up there. Maybe it's on the other side? new oops no any ideas Let's try that oh okay Right, we're going to want some more gel there, then. Oh, darn it, I did the wrong one again. <sighs> it's like my catchphrase today. Darn it, I did the wrong one again. That to try and see how that works. <sighs> Damn it. If anyone sees anything that I'm just not seeing, please tell me, because I am sucking so hard right now. Apparently. Uh, check the other pillars in the room. Might need to paint them. Pardon me. Um. Not sure how. They only so high I can make it go. Oh, maybe I can like. Mario it up the wall there. Thank you for the idea, Tom.
Okay. I think we are at the top there. Let us give that a go. Thank you for the idea. I am glad you said that. Whoop. There we go. Is that the only one with a... Now I do have the height I need, yes. Okay, what do I want? I want an orange. Whee! Woo! Thought I was going to overshoot that for a second. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemons. Yeah! Make life take the lemons back! Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rule the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons! Do yeah! You know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down! With the lemon, oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> the point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this. And I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that. But you make her. <laughs> now put her in my computer. I don't care. And that will have no right, unforeseen over. things to happen that are bad. Consequences, that's the word. Back to your desk. 1982. Nothing bad ever happened from that ever. The end. Thank you for volunteering. Please return to your desk and await further opportunities. Elevator to the surface. Are we finally going to get there? We are 3,000 meters. Oh, now they tell me how to zoom. Took your time. Okay, so we don't have anything at the bottom to fall into. But it looks like we have quite a height. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this height. Oh, okay, we managed to go 50 meters. This won't take forever at all. Oh, that's a drop there. What do we got here? I love Gladys' little chippins with the yeah and everything. Me too. She clearly loves her, loved her boss very much and is very excited at the prospect of blowing things up with lemons. Which I think we should all get on board for. Seems like an excellent idea. That sparking is not terribly reassuring. Um, can I? No, that's not thingamable. Oh god! Well, I think I found what I was supposed to do. Whoa! Okay. Whee! Oh, okay, cool. I made it without even a thingamabob. So I was going to have to portal my way up there. Well, is that a new? No. You know, the first game was so amazing, I, I did not think that they'd be able to make the second game be as iconic. And yet they did. And I am terribly impressed with that. Nothing. Darn it, what am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something and I can't see it. All again. But like, where to go from? From to there? Oh, 
Aha! Got it. Now I'm gonna die. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Uh, woo! Broken nose. Excellent. Okay. Love getting a broken nose. That that was a joke. I do not love getting a broken nose, just to be clear. Okay. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there is right. <laughs> Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. Yeah. You know, what she said was not great, but she said it in a really optimistic way, and I completely agree with her. It's amazing what tone of voice will do. I am locked into you. Oh, okay, those are thingamajig. Okay. Oop, balancey balance. Oh, oh no. Oh, I hate heights so much. Oh god, why? Uh, yes, she was terribly honest, and I appreciate honesty. I like it when people say what they mean. Because otherwise, I get confused. Are you gonna hit that? Yes, you are. Excellent. Okay, now I suppose I have to hit that. Right. Oh, can I? No. Okay. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. Ooh. Boing. Whee. Excellent. Now where am I? Oh, okay. We got a door and some speedy gel over there. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Oh, what does that say? Caution. Oh, thank you. I, I never would have thought to be cautious there without that sign that really helped, you know? That does not appear to be thingamajig. Anything over there that's thingamajiggy? Oh, maybe I need to get some blue gel? Maybe? No, there's nowhere to jump through a hole over there. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, does it stop tripping? Oh, was that not the drippy area? No, that was the drippy area, wasn't it? safe to drop. No, I cannot get there. Oh, I don't get too close to the edge. Try going back down here. Yeah, let's try this. Aha! That's the ticket. Excellent. Okay, heading into here. Okay, so we got white stuff, blue stuff, and orange stuff. Hmm. Okay. So, oh, it looks like we're going to need to get up there. If I 
if I can put make that portalable and make that portalable and then can put a lot of gel there then can I just zoom through zoom out and end up there or do I need a jump as well I think I need a jump as well That goes a long way. Let's find out. Okay, wish me luck. Ah, okay, so that jump is going to happen no matter what. Okay, oh, okay. Right, okay. Let's get some blue there. Is that gonna... No, no, it's not. Ah, darn it, I messed that up. Okay, well, let's get some of you there first. There we go. Now we can pop you there. And now we can get that blue. Excellent. Okay. Right, we need to put you there and get some more orange. Wonderful. Okay. Now I think we should be good. Boingy. Boingy. Oh no, I hit the pipe. Oh, you jerk butt. That was just uncalled for. Let's see if we can get a more this way -y spread on this. Whoa, okay. So I can oh get this more in the middle. -y. Nope, that's still going to the side. There we go. Right. Woohoo! We did it. Okay, that is blue. Okay, so if we want to put more of that gel anywhere, we need to use blue. I'm saying it a lot because I will probably forget. So, please, you know, tell me. Oh, okay. Air vents, an excellent use. Okay, I guess we can't keep it. Oh god, oh god. Woo! Whoa, okay. Which way is up and which way is down? Okay. Oh, that's very unpleasant. Can I oh, I can just find this. Okay. I thought I was going to have to, like, portal this. But, yay, that was portalable. Ooh, okay. We are in a pumping station, I think. Okay, what can we do in here, then? Oh, we got a little bit there. Okay. Um... I, I urge you to watch the um, WandaVision trailer because it was it was very interesting and enjoyable to watch and there was 
lots of cool stuff to be on the lookout for. Um, but one of the things that really made me laugh about it was um, one of the characters is played by the same uh, actress as who played Kitty in that 70s show and it kind of looks like she's set playing the same character. She had a different name I think but she's very much seemed like the same character despite being in what appeared to be like a, a 50s sitcom not a 70s sitcom. And that made me laugh a lot. Whoa, this is high up. But we have an excellent view now. Okay, so there are doors up there, over there, and that is presumably where we want to get to. And there's a little bit up there. Okay, let's attempt to get over there then. Cool. Let's do that. You are, you are not a real door. Are you a real door? Oh no, you are not. Or at least you are not one that we know the password of. Aha, but you do give me this. Which I very much appreciate. Yes. Interesting. Okay. I'm sure this will go swimmingly. Uh oh, hatch override. Oh, here we go. Now, big open thing or tiny little doorway again? Taking bets now. Ooh. Ooh, it's a big open one this time. Ooh, and it looks like we've got some gel coming in. Oh, 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 we have a lift. We have a lift. Oh, we don't have gel coming in. We have pipes going, so we have gel up there. Duh. Brain fail. Okay, well, we better get down there again so we can use this lift. Where is it going to stop? Ah, there. Okay. I really wish that these boots that stop you taking any fall damage were a thing in real life. They are so useful. Slash all games ever. That would be great. Okay, let us ascend. If you can get me in front of him, I'll fry every circuit in that little idiot's head. Yes, I'm sure this will work. I I really appreciate her confidence. We do indeed have lift off. I like that joke. Very good joke. Huh, it looks like the whole thing is built on springs. I looks like we missed the boat secret, which is a, a what a, a um ah, what's it called? Half life reference thing, isn't it? I can never remember how to find it. I've only found it once. But oh well. Just about. If it was con oh. if it was condemned in 1961, how were they still building stuff in the 70s and 80s? Curious, very curious. Uh oh. Uh, those are to protect from earthquakes and nukes. Ah, huh. that's very interesting. Thank you for that. And there I was, thinking it was to make the whole thing springy. That was a joke. Chapter 8, The Itch. For God's sake, hey, it's back. Bosses with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose. Walking on to bugs. <laughs> How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Or... I love his little mutant cube things. Because it is built inside a mountain slash underground. Very cool. Thank you, Tom. Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny because we've been in this for twelve hours and you haven't solved it either. So don't while you're laughing. You've got one hour. 
Solve it. I love the mutant thingies. They're so cute. Oh, they see me. They see me. Hi. Hi. Let us go help the tiny little mutants. That's a very slow moving lift. Ooh, the whole place is shaking. That can't be good. Nope. Here we go. taking this with me because it is cute. Oh no! I didn't see the grid. Sounds like he might be slightly addicted. So you're gonna test and I'm gonna watch. Everything I think you're right. I have a paradox for him. It's a little bit difficult. You'll notice the moat area there. Very deadly. Extremely dangerous. Eventually. It's dead. Not at the moment. But we're working on it. Still working on it. I have a paradox for him. Um, Tom and I just started watching... Oh, yes. Oh, well done. I say just started watching. We're on like season five now. I have a feeling maybe this test room, this room is a test, don't know why, but maybe. Um, <laughs> it's a very easy test. Um, is Nicolas Cage a good actor or a bad actor? Because we just watched the Community. Test is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving this test? <laughs> Same one. And I can just, like, watch you solve it. Yeah, uh, that sounds much easier. I'm sure this won't fail at all. I walked off the edge. That was silly. Come on, you've already solved it. And nothing. Oh, I can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests. New tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right. So my paradox idea didn't work, and it almost killed me. <laughs> So what do you think? Nicolas Cage, good actor or a bad actor? Yay! Wheatley Laboratories. <laughs> I love it when it changes. Okay. I remember your evacuation training. I don't think we're going to be able to evacuate uh, if he has anything to say about it. Can I say decent? And he's too unpredictable. Uh, I think he's a terrible actor and I hate everything that he has ever been in. Oh, there's some mess over there. Whoa, okay. Trippy. Okay, but I do not see a box. Do we have a box?
Aha, there is a box. Just need to get up there. I like a lot of things he's been in and I hate a lot of things he's been in. <laughs> Aha, there is a thing. Oh, what colour? Blue. Oh, no, that's not right, Jay. Orange. I wanted orange. Oh, God, where am I? Oh, no, I did that wrong. Okay. What do you hate and what do you like? I'm very curious to know. Same question to everybody else, not just Tom. No, no, let me out. Oh, God, why? Okay. Crunch. Oh, no, you what? There we go. Okay, where is the door? Ah, there's the door. Okay, hopefully that should just... Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. Seriously, both of you. Why don't, I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just... I'll catch up with you. <laughs> Great! I love it when the good news is that there is no good news and the bad news is we can die. I'd love to help you solve the tests, but I can't. Sorry. You're on your own. That is completely fine. Yeah, made this test myself out of smaller tests. Oh, okay. great, we can all. Jammed them all together. Buttons, got funnels, bottomless pits are involved. It's got it all. Got it all, absolute dynamite. Okay, let's pop that there and jump into this one. Okay, let's see. All that really comes to mind for me right now is Con Air. I like it, but I also hate his accent. And I strangely enjoy the National Treasures movie, cheesy but enjoyable. See, I really wanted to like those because, like, cheesy and adventure and treasure hunting, that sounds like my cup of tea exactly. But then Nicolas Cage is in it, and I hate them, because he's awful. Oh no, okay, this is... Oh, woo, that was close. Okay, and... Alright, okay, this is taking too long, okay? I'll just tell you how to solve the test, okay? See that button over there, alright? You just need to... That's why I can't help you solve I like those, says Tom. I think I only saw the first National Treasure one, um, and I managed to sit through the whole thing, And but I couldn't stand the Nicolas Cage of it all, so I didn't watch the second one. I didn't know for a really long time that there even was a second one. Oh, yes. Hey, got it. <laughs> Wicker Man, awful. <laughs> It was. I like that. <laughs> Wicker Man. So you don't like it when they choose the bees, Tom? I thought of some good news. He's going to run out of test chambers eventually. I never stockpiled them. Or did you? I'm coming, coming. Don't start yet. Don't start yet. You are not going to believe this. I found a sealed off wing. Hundreds, hundreds of perfectly good test chambers. Just see in there. Filled with skeletons. Some of them are good as new. Skeletons, great, okay. Oh, oh, that's not. Oh, that's. Oh dear. Yeah, seamless is not the word that I'd use. Okay, so we've got some. Oh, we've got a launch pad, a button with a drop in the middle, thingy, and a thingy, okay. Uh, that was probably the only good choice in the movie. You thought his reaction to the bees was a good acting choice? Or you thought killing him with bees was a good choice? Because those are two very different sentences and I'm really not sure which one you were picking just then. Okay, let's get over there. 
Also, if you think that his acting choices were good in that, okay, there we go. I was going to judge you very harshly. Okay, we have a launch pad that appears to go right into a wall. Ah! It is now a target, okay. And, let's see, where does that drop? That drops there, and we have nothing. Okay, well, let's see. Um, wait, can I... Oh god! That was a close one. This is why I should not hit all the wrong buttons because it never ends well. Okay. Okay, is that? It is. Excellent. Okay. Oh god, why did I do that so soon? Why am I like this? There we go. That's got it. Okay, I'm going to pop you over here. Don't go wandering, okay? What did I just say? Okay, what does hitting the target do? Stop attacking me. Stay there. I know. Okay, that appeared to do nothing. Oh, but I can do that. Okay. Well, that's good. Come on, let me get in that. Eh. There we go. Okay. Well, let's hope that little thing doesn't wander off the side before I get back over there. I blinked. Did it, it, did it kill itself? Oh no, it's just caught in the beam. Okay, good. You are mine. Go nowhere. Stay there. And stop. Okay. Whee! Excellent. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right. And there is that up there. <clears throat> oh, I was in the wrong place. Okay. At least I know where to pop that there, though. Um, ta-da! Yay! Excellent. Oh, it is getting time to wrap up. Oh, and I don't have a way up there. Great. Turns out I needed to do this at the same time. Come here, you. There we go. I like how it looks kind of scared sometimes. It's so cute. Whee! Oh, here we go. Here it comes. Ooh, there we go. Oh, disappointed. <laughs> Diminishing returns. Yes, absolutely fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong from this. Okay, right. I will stop the game now since we've just completed that chamber and give it a good save. I will be back on Thursday, I think. Um, so yes, I will be back on Thursday. We'll give that a good save to continue with more of this. And then on Monday, Tom will be over his quarantine and we will be able to start his choice, uh, whatever that will be. Um, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the Discord, seeing as he's having a hard time deciding. Uh, you might be able to influence him one way or the other. If you liked what you saw, please give us a follow when we get to 50 followers. Oh, I forgot to say thank you to uh, Peachy Devour, I think her name is, for following last time. Yeah, when we get to 50, we will be playing, uh, doing a stream of Tomb Raider 1 with me blindfolded and Tom telling me what to do. And we're very excited for that. So if you want to help us get there, just hit that follow button. That would be great. Bye!